Hi, Miss Rhonda. Hi, Miss Cindy. We're here doing a baby lap time for you, a special online version. Mm -hmm. um, so, moms, if you want to sit with your babies, this is some great exercise for them, some great information, some great songs we're going to sing to teach them some vocabulary. Yes. We'll go over a couple of signs and we'll talk about that too. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get started and we'll go right into it. And if you want to follow us along and you can watch it as many times as you want. So, welcome. Here's our welcome song. Exactly. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? We're here at baby lap time. Very good. Now with the other songs we'll be singing, you'll notice we'll be doing them three times, generally, to help you remember the words, and you will remember them pretty quickly in <laughs> doing that. We usually like to start with the ladybug name song. Mm -hmm. So normally we have the ladybug being passed around and we sing a little song that has your baby's name in it. So what for you example, can do at home is maybe draw a picture of a ladybug and show it to your baby and you see the ladybug. And the reason we do this is because one of the first words that a baby learns is their name. Exactly. So they feel very special. So when we're in a group and we're singing the name, you can see the baby's face light up like, oh, they're talking to me. They know it. Yeah. Yes. So it helps even at home to do a song with your child's name in it and sing it directly to them. And it just helps reinforce that that is their name and they're special. Exactly. So we'll go through it once and I'll sing it to you first, Miss Cindy. Okay. You can tell me your name. All right. <laughs> Biggity, biggity, ladybug, won't you give me a great big hug? Miss Cindy, Miss Cindy, Miss Cindy, that's your name. That's what it works. Very good. So we'll try that all again now at home. You sing with us and say your baby's name and say it to them. And I'll, I'll just use my name for right now. And you can replace your baby's name in there. Exactly. Ickity, bickity, ladybug, won't you give me a great big hug? Miss Rhonda, Miss Rhonda, Miss Rhonda, that's your name. Oh, it feels so special. We've never done our own name before. I know, but it's pretty cool. cool. <laughs> Good job. So that's what you can do with your little one. And of course, if you have more than one child, the big sibling always likes to have their turn with their name as well. They're special so as well. That's yes. pretty cool. Alrighty, so our pretend babies today are Sparkles and Floyd. Floyd the dragon. There we go. So we're going to use them to be our little helpers. And the first song we're going to do is the Cuckoo Clock song. Oh, I love this one. Which is a lot of fun. And it goes like this. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo! Good! Now we're going to do two. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Good. And we'll do three. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Very good. Very good. Gives mom some exercise too. That's it what does. I call for. that the mom workout well, song for the arms. <laughs> totally. That's true. That's true. So I'll show me try it again. Okay, let's go through. There we go. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo. Good. Now we'll do two. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick. Now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Very good. And now we'll do three. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Here we go. Well done. Yay. Okay, what's next, Miss Cindy? All right. Let's try our next song is the Zoom Zoom oh, Zoom song. Zoom, zoom. This one is always a lot of fun, even for the toddlers too. So with this one, you can help your baby hold their hand and they can do the actions as well. It goes like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. 
If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, one blast off! <laughs> Good. And at the end, the babies will begin to anticipate the exactly. five, counting backwards from five, and then yeah. they'll know that Lucy is coming. First bark was I kind of caught her tail. <laughs> She's okay. All right. Shall we try it again? Sure. Hold your hands. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Very good. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes. Super cute. All right, should we stick with our three times rule on this Let's on the drama? Yeah. Okay, here we go, one last time. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! Very good. Very good. Very well done. That was lots of fun. All right. Ms. Rhonda, would you like to read the little story we have? I read a story, yes. It's called Dog Comes True by Hazel Hitchens and Grisaya Mose, and it is from Anna Press. So it's called Dog, Dog Comes True. Dog is great company for a trek on a summer day. Ooh, sounds good. Up the hill, dog comes true. I'm sure lots of you will be getting out soon and going for walks up. Yes. Too high. Big scramble. Too deep. Big swim. Too wet. Big shake. Big shake. Shake, shake, shake. Too scary. Big run. Too narrow. Can't fit through the rock. Big squeeze. Too fast. Too hot. Too far, sorry. Too hot. Too tired, tough, big rest. Two friends to the top. That is a very awesome. cute book. Very good. And when you pick out books for your little ones, these board books are great because they're very durable and babies like to chew on things. <laughs> we have lots of these at the library and you can get them at any store. Um, you want to choose books that have very little text in them because the babies aren't looking at the text, they're just listening to you. They're more looking at the pictures. Actually, they're only looking at mm -hmm. pictures, babies. They don't recognize the text. So high contrast in colors, very minimal text, big shapes, uh, big books are better, but those are what you're looking for when you read a board book to a child. Yes, and of course, they're never too young to be read to. That's right, over and over. If you have to read this one book to your child because they asked you to 50 times, <laughs> keep doing it because that is how they learn. Repetition is key at this stage. Ooh. Oh boy, rain is falling down. Yes. Okay, let's so try that. One. You can use a receiving blanket or a face cloth mm -hmm. or a towel, anything you have. Tea towel, anything. And you can lay your child down in front of you and do it this way. Or you can, if they're sitting up and they don't want to lay down, that's fine. You can do it that way as well. Exactly. So let's give this one a try, Miss Rhonda. Okay. It goes like this Rain, rain is falling down. down. Splash! Rain is falling down. Splash! Pitter patter, pitter patter. Rain is falling down. Splash! Sun is peeking out. Peek! Sun is peeking out. Peek! Peeking here, peeking there. Sun is peeking out. Peek! Very good! I hope Sparkles didn't fall asleep. I'm gonna have to put her up to do that. <laughs> All right, let's try it again, shall we? Yes. Rain is falling down. Splash! Rain is falling down. Splash! Pitter patter, pitter patter. Rain is falling down. Splash! Sun is peeking out. Peek! 
sun is peeking out. Peek, peeking here, peeking there. Sun is peeking out. Peek, very good. Very good. <laughs> and songs like these, it's great to put them into context. So if the sun is out, we're right. going to sing the sun is out and point and let the child know. Just like twinkle, twinkle, little star is a good, mm -hmm. good song to sing and point to the star. So you're putting the song in context. It helps them learn their language and learn what the context, the meaning of the song is. So right. that's a good thing exactly. to think of when you're singing some of these songs. Mm -hmm. Can we try one last time? Yes. Alrighty. Rain is falling down. Splash. Rain is falling down. Splash. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, rain is falling down. Splash! Sun is peeking out. Peek! Sun is peeking out. Peek! Peeking here, peeking there. Sun is peeking out. Peek! Very good! Excellent job. Alrighty. Next we have another scarf song, which is called Peekaboo Hoo. This one is always a lot of fun because, of course, you're playing peekaboo. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple signing words in here as well. If you point to yourself, it means I or me. C is pointing to your eyes. And you is like this. So let's see if we can put it all together and use our scarves and our signs. And it goes like this. Peekaboo hoo, peekaboo hoo. I see you, I see you. I see your little nose, I see your little toes, peek a -boo. I see you. Very good. Very good. Nicely done. Let's try it again, shall we? This card is boring for this one. Oh. Hold on. That tail just stays out. No. <laughs> Here we go. peek a boo hoo peek a boo hoo I see you, I see you. I see your little nose, I see your little toes, peek a -boo. I see you. Very good. Well done. Nice job, everybody. All right, one last time? Sure. Okay, here we go. peek a boo hoo peek a boo hoo I see you, I see you. I see your little nose, I see your little toes, peek a -boo. I see you. Excellent. That was that was a lot of fun. So speaking of signs, Miss Cindy, we should tell them about signing to your child. And if you want to do that, um, some people choose, some people don't. It's yes. not meant to supplement learning English or learning their language. It's meant to complement it. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if I was to say cat, cat, for that matter, that mm -hmm. word cat. So I say it. It comes and it goes. But if I go cat. Now suddenly your child's eyes have gone to your mouth, they can see how your words are formed, they remember the sign, and it just, just helps it sit in their memory a little longer and helps right. them learn faster. So that's why signing is used with really little children. It's also useful for a lot of the times children when they're learning to talk can't get the words out, they're not saying it right, they're communicating, you're not understanding what they're saying, then right. they get frustrated. Exactly. So if they could do a sign, then that will help them get over that frustration. You'll understand what they're saying. Always repeat the word so they do hear the word, but it will help that communication. So some signs we'll go over today are thirsty. What is the sign for thirsty, Miss Cindy? Thirsty. When you're moving your finger down in front of your throat to do this. And hungry. So you make a U shape with your hand or just rub it down in front of your throat. Hungry. Hungry. And all done. Just like you're wiping the crumbs away, I am all done. all done. So if your child, you keep feeding them and feeding them and they don't want any more food, you will see their little hands come up and go like this. So that I work. you keep using the words and repeating it. And more. That's it. More. I would like some more toys or some more broccoli. And more. <laughs> So those are the signing words. If you go to www.signing.com, sign sign time. Time, signingtime.com, mm -hmm. you can go on there and there's a nice little vocabulary. Uh, you go, say you wanted to learn the sign for diaper. You would go under D, hit diaper, and there's a nice lady and she will show you a video of diaper, which is this. So, and uh, they're all words that go with your daily routine stuff you use with your child. Right. Exactly. So, 
we're gonna do next. All right, this is another fun song called I'm Toast in the Toaster. And this is another one where you get to lift your baby up and have a lot of fun with this one. And it goes like this. I'm toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. <laughs> that was fun. Yes, let's try it again. I'm toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Good. And one last time. I'm toast in the toaster, I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Very, very good. good. Very good. That was excellent. And we have a song in there we can do with our, sh our shakers. Um, we do. You know what? I think I did it with actually one from back here and I forgot to use it. Oh. Well, we could do um, Toast oh. in the Toaster with it. Sure. You know what? Thanks, Rhonda. I think I used it when we did the toilet. <laughs> so it's right. not We'll do Toast right in now. the Toaster with our shakers. <laughs> okay. And you can make shakers at home. Uh, Miss Cindy used two plastic cups with some tape oh. and rice. You could, what else would you use, Miss Cindy? You could use toilet paper roll, a paper towel roll, and just cover the ends with some paper or fabric. Mm -hmm. uh, fasten them with um, rubber bands or maybe some hot glue to be extra sure they're staying on. And you can have lots of fun with these. Decorate them up too if you'd like. Yes. And when we use our shakers, especially with the toddlers, we're teaching them the use of syllables because every time we're shaking them, we're saying a syllable. So a lot of children, when they start talking, they run their syllables together. So this helps to slow down mm -hmm. their words so they exactly. can actually learn to pronounce them. Mm -hmm. So we'll do toast in the toast okay. with our shakers and then we'll sure. move on just to show you how it works. I'm toast in the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Yay! <laughs> And this one, if your baby's comfortable, they can lay on their back and you get to move their legs for them for this song. So this song we're gonna do walking, hopping, and running. So it goes like this. Walking, 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 hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop, now let's stop. Good. So another sign I was just using is the stop yes. sign, where you have one palm flat and one like this. So let's try it again. It goes like this. Walking, 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 hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Good. That one's a lot of fun all the time, isn't it? We'll do it one last time. Walking, 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 hop, 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 hop. Running, 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 running. Now let's stop. Now let's stop. Very good. Excellent. Well, that is it for our baby lap time right now. And I hope you enjoyed us. You can yes. watch it over and over. We also have posted other times and crafts by Miss Cindy for the older children. Yes. And, and teen challenges. We're trying to post as much as we can and get yes. everyone that we can to do. So we can finish off with our little goodbye song that we like to do. And then we will see you again another time. And we hope to see you back here really soon. That's right. That would be wonderful. Remember to wash your hands and stay safe. Yes. Our hands say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Our feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap.